Right, it's Christmas Day. This is the third take I've done. The third take of this beer. And I was in a very merry mood, but now I'm starting, the merriness is starting to subside a bit. So, here we go again. Um, yeah, I thought I'd do a Christmas Day beer review. Um, I've poured it out. Um, here we go again. Right. We're going to Marks and Spencer. We've got a Sherry Barrel Age Greenwich Ale. It's brewed by Meantime. There's the front. There's the back. Um, it's aged for six months in Sherry Barrels and then blended with London Porter. It's brewed by the Meantime Brewery in London. Exclusively for Marks and Spencer. And on the back side, I shall read to you what it says about this beer. This Greenwich Ale is created by a Meantime Brewery using seven different malts. It is then aged for six months in Sherry Barrels and blended with M&S London Porter. Flavours of the sherry and wood combine with the richness of the malts to give a complex aroma of vanilla and dried fruits with a big malty backbone. The taste is dominated by the complex malts and gives way to the delicate complex flavour of the sherry. A perfect match for uh, this intense beer is a perfect match for bold food as such as cheese board or rich fruity Christmas pudding. And it also says important cork and wire bottle opening open with care and point away from people and objects and do not shake so i've opened up i've got a bit of vanilla a bit of dried fruit um of the aroma and a bit of there was a, a kind of like um a characteristic you would associate with a porter you, you know you get the dark roastiness in there as well so that's what was on top Appearance, appearance. It had a bit of a. It's, it's got a bit more of a brown, reddish tinge to it as to a normal porter would. Um, still getting a hint of vanilla. Still a bit of dried prune more than anything. Um, and that's about it. So boys and girls, I'm gonna make a toast. This is to everybody who supported my channel this year, everybody who has commented, everybody who subscribed, everybody, every, everybody who's unsubscribed, um, to all the other beer tubers out there doing a great job reviewing the greatest drink in the world. Merry Christmas. So, down the hatch as I say. It feels a little thin, actually. Um, you get a hint of dried prune. Um, you do get a little bit of sherry, but not much, to be honest. It's, it's not there. Um, <laughs> you know... I was doing a Christmas Day beer review and I wanted to, I kept this beer especially for it. And I was thinking this beer is going to be a cracking beer to do. Um, I'm so far a bit disappointed in it, <laughs> to be honest. I'm going again. It's dry on the back end, on the front end. You do get a little hint of roastedness, a little bit of maybe coffiness about it. There's a tiny, tiny hint of vanilla. And on the back end, you get nice little dried up prune notes and dried currants and raisins notes and stuff like that. Um, sherry character within this beer... There's a slight, there's a slight hint of sherry throughout. Um, it's not a, it, you can you can miss it um, if you had something quite prevalent in taste before you drunk this beer. You would completely miss the sherry in this. 
So all in all, boys and girls, I'm being honest here. Um, might put me in the move, bad mood for the rest of the day. I'm not too sure, you know. Um, we're gonna have. I think we're gonna have something like tuna pasta later for Christmas dinner, <laughs> which is a great thing to have, I suppose. But you know, <laughs> what can I say? It's it's. Uh, they kind of like said it's supposed to be something a lot more. You know, they they the way they the, the way they put this across is that it's something pretty special and. I fell for it. I did. One more one more for the road. Yeah, I'm disappointed. It's Christmas, I should be in a good mood. Boys and girls, Merry Christmas. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you for watching me throughout the year. Um if you want to get that, I wouldn't. I do now for me and on that score see you on my next one so cheers